Good morning, folks. Um, this is the first video for uh, Crim 205, Criminology. Um, here we are. I know this is strange. Uh, I know this is odd. Um, I obviously don't prefer this format, but uh, this is this is it is what it is. Uh, so this class has has moved online, and uh, I want to be clear about what that means. I'm I'm taking this online stuff to me, but online classes usually meet, which is that you do this on your own time, okay? But you have a week in which to do everything, okay? So how this is going to work from now on is I'm going to make a video like this every week. I'm calling it Cliff Notes, you know, just a little. Five minute, five minute to ten minute uh, clip of the expectations for the week, a little bit of summaries of the lectures, and um, things that things that you should be expecting. So, uh, essentially, for this week, for March nineteenth, um, I've skipped over what was supposed to happen on March twelfth, which is the final paper workshop. You guys can review those directions on your own. The final paper, the criminal profile paper, is still due on May fourteenth. That hasn't changed at all. Uh, but for this week, quite simply, and this goes for every week, what I want you to do, uh, first of all, is to go on Blackboard. Uh, go on Blackboard under um, Assignments, under Assignments, just like it has been all semester. Uh, under Assignments, I want you to look at the date, March 19th. I want you to read the reading for that week. And for this week, that reading would be Broken Windows Theory. Open and read about Broken Windows Theory. Um, also, uh, I want you to go under the Course Documents tab and open up the lecture for this week. The lecture for this week, Social Cor Control and Reactions to Crime. That will have the date attached to it. Um, also, from this point forward, I also want you to go under the Discussion Board and answer the, dis the discussion question for March 19th. Um, you have between now and Wednesday, March 25th, to complete all of that work. Also due this week, I believe, was the fourth summary. And I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. Um, it's not necessarily just going to be number four. Um, I want you to submit uh, the summary on broken windows theory. And you again, you have until Wednesday, March 25th, to do this. Please. Um, read, look at the lecture, the PowerPoint lectures under the course documents, um, look at the discussion board questions, and then also for this week in particular, do the summary for Broken Windows Theory. That's four things for this week, all due by next Wednesday, okay? Uh, so in other words, I expect to go back and look on the discussion board and see that you've done the discussion question already. I can't make you read and I can't make you look at the lectures, but um, I expect you to submit that summary back on the portal uh, under assignments. If you're having trouble submitting the typed and double spaced and no larger than 12 size font summaries, uh, you can email them to me, but please make sure to do it by Wednesday. So uh, next week, March 26th, I am doing a midterm exam. I'm not deviating from that, except this will not be a multiple choice exam because that would just be absolutely ridiculous. Um, what I'm doing is that there's under assignments on March 26th, uh, you're going to see a little portal for the midterm exam. If you open it now, you see the directions for the exam and you'll also see the study sheet, the PowerPoint study sheet for the exam. You could start studying now, uh, but the test is not there yet. At 9 a.m. on Thursday, March 26th, I'm going to make the test available there. You go and you open it between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. You open that file, you fill out that, you answer all the questions, you submit it back to me by 5 p.m. So again, this is an online course where you do these things on your own time, but you have to submit these things by certain dates and by certain times. So for the midterm exam, it's March 26th. Uh, for the discussion questions for this week, it's March, it, excuse me, it's March 25th. Uh, the exam is March 26th, 5 p.m. Uh, the summary is by March 25th. Uh, please do not miss these deadlines. Uh, do your best to do this stuff on your time when you find a computer. So again, uh, this is not gonna involve Zoom. This is not going to involve teleconferencing. We're not going to meet 
at 12 p.m. on Thursdays. We're not doing that. You get to do this class on your time. If you're better in the mornings, you do it in the mornings. If you're better in the evenings, great. If you do this better doing this stuff at two in the morning, fantastic. Except for the exam, obviously, which on Thursday, March 26th, you have to do between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Uh, but from now on, I'll, I'll be putting up um, something here in order to discuss. Um, it's just a five to 10 minute video each week, which I'll be discussing what I want you to learn. So for the lecture on social control, uh, what I wanted you to get out of this is the idea that uh, the difference between a space or place um, and, and the difference between a neighborhood and a community. A uh, community is usually a grouping of people defined by common interests, um, common experiences, and common goals. Uh, if you have that with your neighbors, that's great. So that, that's those first six points that I have on the lecture. Um, Overall, what I really wanted you to get out of this lecture is the discussion on broken windows theory. Now, broken windows theory is incredibly important for your criminal justice majors. Um, you need to know it well. And the easiest way I can explain broken windows theory is that it's based on, uh, as, as is defined in the PowerPoint slides, uh, it's based on appearance and people's tolerance towards public disorder. So in other words, uh, crime, sh it's according to broken windows theory, crime should decrease if you spruce up a neighborhood a little bit, you beautify a little bit, you clean up the garbage, you add some shrub shrubberies to it, you add some trees, you add some grass, uh, you make a neighborhood look nice and people will tolerate it more. Uh, versus the idea that uh, if there's broken glass everywhere, if there's trash everywhere, if there's homeless people everywhere, if there's people urinating on the walls, uh, that's a space where criminals are going to feel more comfortable and criminals can thrive in that environment. So broken windows theory, and this is why in New York City we say that we are operating under broken windows policing because um, anything that doesn't look right gets removed. And that used to be the person urinating against the wall. That used to be the homeless person. That used to be the person uh, spray painting graffiti on the wall. Um, unfortunately, it evolved into the kid with the sagging pants, the kid with the hoodie on, the kid with the do-rag on, and how people start calling the police on them. People don't like how they look. So, um, there's some good points to broken windows theory, which is that, you know, it's, it's nice when a neighborhood looks nice. Uh, and it's nice when crime gets reduced because people stop tolerating things less. Uh, one of the problems with broken windows theory is that it leads to things like stop and frisk. Uh, and it leads to racial profiling because a lot of people don't like how that looks. Uh, or how people of color look or how somebody who's dressed like a thug looks like. Um, I'm, I should be using air quotes when I say these things. Uh, but broken windows theory is very important. Um, so, generally speaking, please read. The readings are available under the assignments tab. You can read every week. Please read. Uh, hand in the summaries when they are due. If you look under the assignments tab, you're going to see the little spots where the summaries are due. A grade book is already available. And also, um, please pay attention to the criminal profile paper due on May 14th. Final exam will be due on May 21st. And uh, next week is the midterm exam. I'm serious. Like, please be around between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Most of you should get this exam done within 20 minutes. You have eight hours to do it and for a 20-minute exam. So please pay attention because after 5 p.m., it's late. It's late, late. And I, yeah, I'm going to mark it late. So please don't mess up. Uh, for this week between the 19th today uh, and... Um, the 25th Wednesday, I, I expect you to follow um, all this stuff for social control and broken windows theory. So uh, please do so. Um, if you have any questions, please email me. I'm not in my office. Okay, I'm not in my office anymore. I'm at home. Uh, but um, let's get through this. Okay. And um, I don't know. I hope to see you guys again someday. So, all right. Um, take care. Stay safe. Wash your hands, goddammit, so <laughs> please. All right, guys, take care.